So, Ninjala has been out for a few weeks now, and if you're like me, you got into the training lobby, looked at the in-game tutorial messages, and said... What? Well, you came to the right place, because this is... Ninjala unofficial, but kinda needed really bad tutorial. Cause the one of the game is not that good. Yeah. And in 5 easy steps, you'll get your rank up in no time. So grab your ninja related gear and get ready to become average. Well, better. Kinda. Hopefully? Yeah, hopefully. Step 1. Get your water boiling so you can put the noodle. Step 1. Drone. You see that thing? That adorable little red orb of sunshine and wholesomeness? Destroy it. Destroy it with all your might. Hunt them. Update their software with pain.exe. Make a mean tweet about them. Punch them in the face with your punching hand. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Because drones are the most important thing in Ninjala. In fact, they are so important that they are the ABC of Ninjala. Always be drones. Drones are the best source of points. They increase your energy bar and they give you extra points. So here are the drones location on WNA Academy and Eagle City on Battle Royale. Put that in your mind, this will be on the test. You might be asking, what test? Exactly. Step 2. S-Burst. What are S-Burst? What do they do? What do they like? Can you bring them actually to your mom? Do they taste good? S-Burst is that move that you do after you've been hit. Pro tip, do not use it as a panic button. There is a reason why it costs so much energy, because it is a last resort weapon. Not a get out of jail free card. Fun fact, the R button on your controller does a break attack. If you do an S-Burst, I can weapon break your kneecaps or something. Again. But let's talk about the parry system. Oh boy. Golden rule. Red beats green, green beats blue, and blue beats red. Or down beats side, side beats up, up beats down. Or white attack beats back attack, and back attack beats front attack. Or bashful arrow, you, you get the idea. Okay, now that you get the idea, forget the idea. What? If you clash against a big weapon while you do not have one, every clash tie will result in a victory for the big weapon. Guess, guess you should have picked someone his own size, huh? Ah! Hammers. If you tie with a hammer and both of you press the left or right button, both of you will get damage, but the hammer will win the trade. Same thing for you using trick balls, but replace left and right with down. I guess his hands were tied. Ah! Oh, and you are not invincible in parry state. While most attack will not work because of that giant sphere of like, get off me you jerk, any ninjutsu technique can just get in there and mess your entire afternoon plan. Yeah, water park trip canceled, kids. Hey, I'm not the one who got into parry with Lucio. Okay. Step 3. Weapons. Give all the weapons a chance. Is what I would say if I was bad at the game. In all seriousness, there are some weapons in special that are much easier to learn or use. Like BAM. And if you're still not sure what to pick, here is a quote from a very ancient master that might be me using a silly voice. All weapons in ninjalas are equals. But some are more equals than others. Step 4. Play like a ninja chicken. Pro chicken strap, be a coward. If you see a giant six player brawls, it means six players right now are not hunting drones, leaving you a ton of point and energy. So go get drones, get a big weapon, then get your mean face on. <laughs> Pro chicken strap transformation makes you regenerate health a ton faster. Pro chicken strap, if you get in a clash and you want to nope out of that rock paper scissor pro scene, press L to disengage for the cost of one energy bar. Pro chicken strap, Step 5. Gum guard. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just hold the button and block any regular attack coming your way? You can. Hold ZL. It's quite 
awesome. Step six, Shinobi cards. Wait, didn't I say there was five easy steps? Uh, in your battle equipment tab, there is a section called Shinobi cards. The question is, what are those? To put it simply, they make you stronger. If you press Y on a card that you already purchased, you can level up abilities on your card. For example, the Sun Burst card can heal you if you get a Nippon from a parry state. In other words, for the people with a very busy schedule, here is a quick recap of everything I said. Drones are important to be a coward, use protection, and activate your trap card. And if anything is not clear or needs further explanation, let me know in the comments and I'll try to explain as best as I can. With that being said, keep calm and carry on. Oh boy, no, not again.